like a dog with a bone who can't let it go. I can't let go of Obadiah 15 through 21, which discusses the day of the Lord and his kingdom. Verse 15 in Obadiah, it's only one chapter, says, for the day of the Lord draws near. And verse 21 ends the book with, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. By the way, Lord in both verses is Jehovah in the Hebrew language. Most today claim it refers to a future earthly kingdom with Jesus reigning on a literal physical throne on earth in Jerusalem. However, the Bible emphatically states that Jesus ascended to heaven to sit on his throne and reign over his kingdom and church 2,000 years ago, Acts 2, verse 36. Add to that our continued confusion about who rules in the Lord's church, Jesus or some man or group of men, and we have a lot of misinformation to work through to get to the truth about the Lord's church and kingdom which is why I can't let this text go without a few more looks at what the Bible says about them. And because I like the way he says it, I've borrowed once again from Plain Talk Magazine for another bonus Throwback Thursday edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Headquarters in Heaven by Robert F. Turner, July 1968. Streaking toward the West Coast in a sleek jet is also a good place to discuss the cause of Christ. Small talk with a fellow traveler moved from occupation to church to where is this church's headquarters? Lady, I said, you aren't going to believe this, but I want to tell you the honest truth. Headquarters for the church of which I am a member is in heaven. There was a moment of silence, and then she replied politely. You are correct. I don't believe it, but I will listen to your explanation. What more could anyone ask? God, 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 apostles, judges, kings, Christ, not bishops or church, people, 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 people. Take your time to study this. God, deity, first ruled his chosen people through judges, then through kings, and finally, Christ sits on David's throne, Acts 2, verses 30 and following. Christ is today both king and priest. He cannot be one without the other, Hebrews 7. The, the sovereignty of divinity is exercised through the Son of God and through none other. See 1 Corinthians 15, verses 24 through 28. The apostles were and are ambassadors for Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 20, delivering his message. There is one lawgiver, James 4, verse 12. Legislative, executive, and judicial authority resides wholly and only in Christ. Our headquarters is in heaven. Since the apostles and New Testament prophets were inspired, spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, we do not go to them for guidance, except as to earthen vessels whose contents we seek. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7. And now, in the absence of inspiration, how absurd to consider any board, council, or ecclesiastical body as our headquarters. We do not go to the church for forgiveness, mercy, or any of the spiritual blessings. All are in Jesus Christ, Ephesians 1, verse 3. Our headquarters is in heaven. We may come boldly to the throne of grace in heaven, Hebrews 4, 16, for here is our altar, Hebrews 9, verses 18 and following. The church is not the mediator between God and man. Christ is our middleman. We come to God through Christ, not through the church. Each one of us must approach God as an individual through Christ. It is only when I have found God in Christ, when I have become obedient to his commandments, subject to his authority, that I am one of his saints, a member of his called out ones, the church. Stressing individual obligations to Christ does not minimize the importance of Christ's church. It doesn't erase the local church as God's people operating collectively. It just puts the church in its proper place. God's people, the church, must depend upon Christ, his word, not on people. God, Christ, God's people, the church. Yes, ma'am, my headquarters is in heaven. What about you today, all these decades later? Where are your headquarters? To whom do you turn for authority? Christ or some group of men? Jesus or your pastor? To whom do you turn for information about the Lord's kingdom and church? The Bible, which says Jesus already rules over both from heaven, or some men or a man who tells you 
Jesus has to come back to earth to finish what he failed to do 2,000 years ago. Please tune out the so-called authorities on earth and listen to the Lord. Let heaven be your headquarters. Thank you for watching another bonus Throwback Thursday edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClendon hoping you have a great day.